Y'all, Diddy is the funniest man in the freaking world. I was watching this video of um Diddy playing Black Santa. This is probably the video right here. I was watching it. And it's like, this is exactly why Bob is Santa. Because Raekwon could never be Santa. Raekwon, black people were just like some stingy ass people. You know what I'm saying? Frugal. I say frugal at least. You know, I'm not stingy. I share. But, you know, we're frugal. So it's like, you know, presents and stuff. I don't celebrate Christmas because I'm a Jehovah's Witness. But presents and stuff like that, that's, that's you know, baby, it's the frugality for me. So Raekwon would probably just like probably not even make it to the chimney. He would most likely be at the crib with everybody presents and just put everybody on a naughty list on purpose and keep all the gifts for him and say, I'm the only person in the world that was good. That's Raekwon. Bob is going to make sure everybody get a present. So Diddy, him being an African-American male and being of my kind, um, I was watching the video and I noticed he kept on talking about gifts and I ain't seen not one gift be given. And that's my point. But anywho, y'all, um, today is the 25th and um, ain't this, oh, I'm going to cry. Oh, yes, Puff, let him know, let him know, let him know who wifey was, let him know, let him know who's the day one. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I could wait a minute. Hold on. I'm not ready. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't ready for this. Today, um, what? Let me see. I did not see this. Happy birthday, Queen Kim. Love you forever, Letty KP. This could have made me. I'm just, uh, oh my God. Let me watch this again. I can't. That was his day one. Like, that was his day. I remember, like, when I was a kid, I remember Diddy, you know, um, it was her. That was his day one. You know, she was always, to me, so gorgeous, so beautiful. I remember being a kid and before Cassie or whatever the case may be, it was her. I remember and, um, you know, I always felt she was so beautiful and so sophisticated. And, um, everybody knew who Mrs. Puff was, you know, Kim Porter. I think out of all the girls, all, out of all the women Diddy had, Kim Porter, I feel like, was that one. She was that one. You know, she's a beautiful black woman, classy, sophisticated, just uh, overall, just bombshell, like model-esque. And um, I think he had, I th she had the twins and she had um, the other baby too. Um, what did she have a son? Isn't, isn't the one on the radio right now, his, her, um, she is so freaking gorgeous, bro. That lady was gorgeous, bro. Yeah, um, I think it's King. Christian, I think Christian. His rapper name is King Combs. Damn. I just remember being a kid, just watching, like... I remember I read an interview... I read an interview and um she was doing an interview on um on, on Diddy. It was like just an interview or whatever and I remember she was like I'll never forget she was like she basically was leaving him but she had to leave while he was not there because she said if I would have tried to leave while he was in the house he wouldn't have let me go. 
like he would have held her hostage. <laughs> I remember that article, but um, you know, I feel like if Diddy were to marry any woman, to be honest, I think it would have been Kim. But I mean, men they don't get it until it's too late. You know, that's the thing. But um yeah. I was going to make this video about um Mr. Sean's Chris the video he did about um <laughs> him being Santa or whatever the case may be. Tisha. I got the receipts and the receipts is a taste. Let me get this hand dog right here. Diddy is hilarious like Maybe we want to act crazy. <laughs> He's now, character. I'm sorry, I don't Why know did what that happened. Take now, this elegant, smooth. See, he's an elegant man. He likes his woman elegant. Um, let me see. Attention to my beloved crew. This, this Today is the day that we have all no, worked. It starts here, I think. Wait. There's so many misconceptions about black ass Santa. Number one is I fly around with flying reindeers. I don't fly around with no flying reindeers. I deliver your gifts in an all matte black G7, baby. Ghetto. <laughs> ghetto. Just ghetto hood. I'm telling you, people could never. Okay, like Black it. Santa! This is Command Central. Oh my God. And See, this is. Where's the gifts? Where everything. Where is the gifts? That's Captain, what I'm saying. Black people, we cannot do this job. Knots. It ain't for us. This is red dots right here. This is where we have to deliver the gifts. This gives me a perspective of who has been naughty and who has been nice. Have you been naughty or nice? Black ass Santa will know. Oh my God, he's so good. Captain, let's take that to 200 knots. Yes, sir. Go ahead and go Baby, you could take the you, you could take the man out the hood, but you cannot the take the ghetto out the, the man. I'm, I for kid a you Christmas not. Christmas Eve meeting. Attention to my beloved crew. Today is the day that we have all worked hard for for this day to spread cheer all around the world. We're not just spreading cheer; we're spreading health, wealth, and happiness also all around the world to everybody. Do y'all understand me? Yeah. yeah. Do y'all understand my black ass? Yeah. Yes, black ass Santa has delivered the message. Now it's time to get to work. Everybody get on the jet skis, load up the jet, and let's go spread Christmas cheer. Y'all know what time it is. This fool said, let's go on a jet ski. What you, who you know? What Santa you don't get on a jet ski? A black person. That's what I'm saying. That's not for us. It's not for us. It's best that we receive the gift we're not supposed to be the gift givers like on a, on a Santa level. We, that's too much of a, a sophisticated job for us black folk. It's going to always be because being Santa is a very, you know, serious job, you know, for the world. You cannot leave it in a ghetto ass niggas hands or a ghetto bitch. And me being a ghetto proper bitch. I would be like Diddy. I would be trying to get on jet skis, forget about everybody, give drawn, everybody give, be mad because it's like I had no intention of giving the gifts anyway. It was really for me. I'm faking, but I drawn all the gifts. Like who the hell, who you know? Why is he on the yacht? Is he supposed to be in the chimney? I'm telling you, Black, it's not for us. It, it's not for us. It's not meant for us. It's definitely not meant Attention for us. Attention to my beloved crew. Today is the day that we have all worked hard for. See, I'm ghetto. Just ghetto. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Look, not one, not one gift. This nigga, what? Everything's been going smooth. I just delivered everybody's gifts when that, you wake them up. He's lying. We happy. We just got back to headquarters. We got some Deleon tequila. Everybody take a shot. I'm so sorry to tell you that Santa is black. And I'm going to still make sure you keep your job. But you have to know that Santa's black now, okay, baby? Santa, you want some Dillion on tequila? Oh, okay. Oh. A little milk and cookies. Mmm. 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 Mm. This is a swimming pool. You like the swimming pool? Usually on Christmas Eve, we listen to Brian McKnight. Oh, he is one God. of the best. Black, super black, real Negro 
Christmas album ever made. So usually I deliver the gifts and I come in here, get a little massage. It's the black mother freaking, it's the outfit for me. Now why, Santa don't wear Dior. It's only us. It's us. I don't it's live always in the North Pole. I live in the Caribbean. This fool got on a we fur. We live in a world where Baby, that's a fur. That's designer. And that don't mean that I should stop you from showing you how to get it. This is Frank. This is my number one king elf. He only drinks Deleon tequila. The smoothest tequila in the world, owned by a black man. We still have some gifts that have to be delivered. Yeah, this is real. This is a boat. This is really a yacht. And I started coming out the same box. I was renting like the the one twenties. You know. Look at his. I never knew Santa to wear some um, um Cartier shades. Then I was buying the two fifties. So we on the three twenty five. We scoping it out. With the new headquarters. Yo, we got the Kermit the Green. This is the Kermit the Green. This nigga is not worried about no Christmas. This nigga's worried about a, a yacht tour. Deleon's starting to kick in when the Deleon kick in. Mrs. Claus! Mrs. Claus, How you daddy is home. to the kids drunk? Oh, we have a theater on a yacht. And I would like to give congratulations to the queen, Carisha, young Miami. Oh, this so this is a dream come true for me. Turn this up. Let me see. Let me see if these niggas flirting with each other. Is this any flirtations that's going on? You trying to talk my shorty wop? <laughs> nah, nigga. Nah, no. I see it, nigga. Cause I have been to one of your shows. Yeah. Why would you have run that nigga's show? Why you smiling like that? Tonight is about family. Saying as a black ass man and a black ass uh, man that works hard. That shorty, wow. Work hard to get those gifts. It is those ridiculous. Shoes. That man is. So all to all the parents out there, we wish you happy holidays, happy Kwanzaa. Just peace. May you have peace tomorrow. May you have peace tonight. May you feel proud of yourself that you bought your kids that gift and it, and, and it hurt the pockets. He's talking about something that hurt your pockets, but he didn't give nothing out. Where's the gifts? Like, where did he, what did he give out? I'm telling you, you that y'all make us. It, Santa could never be for a Negro. We got to stay in our lane. You know what I'm saying? This this ghetto ass hood shit. That's not that's for us. But when it comes to like Santa, he's not that. That's not that's not his job. He's supposed to be very sophisticated. It's a real job. And black people don't take Nathaniel seriously. Why would he go up there and do that? And ruin everybody Christmas like that? Knowing damn well he don't got no gifts for nobody but himself and his kids. Barely. Why you going to that nigga show? <laughs> I'm confused. Is this a yacht? I said the same thing, but that's a yacht. That's Diddy's. Not a single person there got a Christmas bonus. They sure did. I'm telling you, it's it's not for us. It is not for us. Diddy is crazy. Oh, God. Look, just they so desperate. It's the pick me's for me. They so happy that they they so happy he said something about Carisha. Guys, relax. He's being sarcastic. It's a joke. It's a joke. He still don't take us seriously. It's just a joke. If he did, that air that episode wouldn't have even aired. He would have he would have shut it down. Kim Porter could never. What? Imagine Kim Porter as trying to go on on camera with another man asking quick. No. So, yeah, this is not Kim Porter or Cassie. That's just Shorty Wop. He don't care. He's just being funny and sarcastic. Don't get ahead of yourself. People just be begging. It's like people be begging to be accepted. Love yourself. If a dude don't want you, he don't want you. Stop trying to force things. It's the, it's, it's social media. The girl, I think she... It's Carisha, I think by by now, she knows her position. Ain't none. But you know you got social media. They still begging, hoping, praying, and picking, and and 
uh, what is it, praying to every God they can, the plant God, the Zeus God, Jehovah God, um, freaking the, the Buick God, the Bugatti God, um, hell, everything, the sun God, the moon God, every God, it's not happening. Just key, key and keep it moving. It was funny. Key, key and keep it moving. Ciao. Anyway, he's hilarious. But he's with the fam. Oh, the baby. I didn't even notice. I didn't even see the baby. I didn't even. I, I really didn't even. I look. That's crazy. I didn't even see the baby in the. um. Oh. I can't wait to see the baby face. The baby's too little right now, but oh, she's so tiny. Oh, that's sweet. Um. Oh, there go his. That's his. Okay, this is which one is Delilah and which one is Jesse? Them twins look exactly alike. That's Chance, Quincy, the mama him um that's the one that that's kim porter's son christian and that's sarah chapman that's his baby mama okay love i can't wait to see her oh um, my i didn't even the baby was so tiny i did not even see i Mm -hmm. they said where's carisha that's what i'm saying so like that's what i'm saying shorty wops don't get to get family photos for christmas shorty wops don't spend christmas with the man okay shorty wops they spend christmas at home across the country and in, in their state in miami where they're from and you know the family the people that are very you know important they are there okay shorty wops that's not a title. What is that? Shorty Wops, the ones that are on the world. You know what I'm saying? The F buddies. They're not coming to Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, Easter Sunday, egg hunt, um, birthday. The birthday, everybody can come to the birthday. Everybody. All even the side bitches, the friends, the um, the baby mamas, everybody can come. But certain things like the holidays. You know, Halloween, ain't nobody finna be matching Joker and Harley Quinn or whatever. I don't know. It ain't happening. But I knew somebody was going to ask this question and what would happen. I scroll. Same question I was about to ask. What part of he is single and don't give a fuck about the girl other than business don't you pick me get it's it's just embarrassing y'all just be begging y'all just be begging for a dude to like y'all after he call y'all a friend to y'all face. Embarrassing. Oh, it didn't even go up. It didn't even go to that person. Okay, anywho. What part of that don't y'all understand? Like, why are y'all so... It's it's embarrassing. Like, the pick me's, y'all gotta stop. Damn, y'all ruin Christmas for everybody. Pick me's ruin the holidays, period. Even if she had no kids, she still wouldn't have gotten an invite. Cause shorty wop is is a uh, how do I say it? is another way to say f buddy. I just want to educate the people. 
You know what I'm saying? Shorty Wob got her own kids to tend to. Don't come under here mentioning her. Ooh, y'all mad. That hurt y'all feelings, huh? She not in the picture. Ooh. Oh, my God. Y'all so messy. Ooh, y'all so messy. She aside, he won't bring her around the kids. Ooh. At home with her kids. Ash, that's, the, that's the only worst place she could go. I mean, you thought he was really... <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying. Now y'all, all, all of them was like, oh, you're hating and stuff. Okay, now look at y'all looking stupid as hell. Okay? Child, that's embarrassing. She taking the pics. Ooh, y'all, ooh. <laughs> I hate it. Baby, I'm messy. I'm finna, I'm, I'm real. I am messy. You wrong. They dead ass wrong for that. The way I just screamed, I was looking for this comment. Me too. I ain't gonna care. <laughs> oh my God. Did you see photos still? Aside, obviously. Chance mom is in the photo, not her. She is Cassidy replacement. Good luck if he saw a real relationship with her. She would be a part of the photo, let alone she would be carrying his child. And he would wife her. Save me, BS. Exactly. Somebody got common sense. The baby mama there. It's Sarah. The, just, how come? Okay. And this is the thing. This is why I say women. If a man tell you to your face how he feel about you, accept it. Don't let your ego get bruised and make yourself look stupid. What happened with Carisha is that Carisha just thought she was that girl. Carisha thought because she was a city girl, she was just going to bag Diddy. No, sweetheart. That's way above your weight class. That's above your elegance class, 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 uh, reading, writing, you know, literacy class. That's way above. That's not, that's not you, sweetheart. You know, the billionaire that don't you don't go you can't go with that that's not for you okay you could go with a you know a scammer a hip-hop rapper something like that but you know diddy do you see like kim porter what that was like how that looked sophistication model gorgeous stunning you know read write can spell comprehension skills on point know how to talk that's that's the billionaire that's what they want you know what i'm saying but no everybody was like oh you know that's his he loves her and you know that's his girlfriend and y'all are so embarrassing when i tell you embarrassing embarrassing shorty wap got her own kids to tend to don't come under here mentioning her even if she had no kids, she still wouldn't have gotten an invite because Shorty Wop is another way to say F buddy. Now watch them eat me up for that. Ooh, they be hating the truth, y'all. They be ooh, they be wanting to fight for the truth. Home punching the air. <laughs> Shorty Wop, that's so embarrassing. Listen, I would be mad. I would tell him, like, don't play with me. Don't call me that. Call me by my name. That's why he made that skit yesterday, making room for his blended family pictures. Hope she one day do the same. Girl, they said outside. We're outside the, the, the yacht doors. Not Carisha outside the yacht door trying to get in. Not Carisha trying to figure out the gate code to get in. So you saying Carisha's outside begging to get in and the guards are like, no. He's telephoning the guards like, no. That's, you know what? You know what? child she just knew she was gonna be that man girlfriend she said she's p-u-t-u-p -U -U <laughs> that girl said she was put up and he got his whole baby mama wait how many baby mamas he got kim porter he only got kids with kim and sarah quincy's his like adopted son the oldest one is the adopted son. But tell me why he looked just like, he looked like his, he looked like, Quincy looked like Diddy, just a light-skinned version. I don't know, they look alike. Even that's not his biological son, he adopted him as his own. But that look, that man looked just like him. Where his late, latest baby mama stitched up, still on bed rest, what you mean? Still on bed rest? I mean, she just had a baby. Now, 
no, stop trying to be messy. No, she been laid to rest. Relax. Wait, what, what are they talking about? She passed. What do you... His baby was in the oven when his lady passed. These people are so stupid. They don't even know what they're talking about. They're talking about Kim Porter. Kim, what are you talking about? Oh my God, they're so dumb. T Kim Porter was not. E Kim Porter was had been passed like that. Never mind. You, you cannot. Don't be a fool and argue with retarded. Mm -mm. Diddy messy. Diddy is single. He can do whatever he want to do. People trying to explain to the slow people. Even if... Even if she didn't have any kids... Well, if that's his girl, right? If that's his girl, and how y'all love to say he took her serious, if that was his girl, Sarah wouldn't have been there. It, it would have been Carisha there with her kids. It would have been a blended family type thing. Child, that's embarrassing. I'm telling you, don't mess around and find out. Y'all, I'm being messy, y'all. I'm just being messy. You know, we got to be messy a little bit. Just got to be a little bit, just a little bit. So why, why they can't spend time with both families? People do it all the time, make it make sense. Because they're because he don't because they're not together and he don't take us seriously, love. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the latest baby mama's in the she's in the um. The I'm pretty sure the BM is 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 there. The mama's there. She's just not in the picture. She just had a baby. The lady stitched up. Let her coochie heal. Oh my god. The baby, oh yeah, the baby look. Let me see how old the baby look, cause that will let me know when. Girl, Diddy is so messy. They said Diddy is so messy, girl. No, Diddy is honest. Yep, that's Chance's mother. Mm -hmm. Who took the pig, Young Miami? I cannot. Y'all are oh. It's the new baby for me. The baby looks gorgeous. I know, like, where the kids? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Don't embarrass yourself. Like, people on social media, like, they really hype things up. And it's like, where y'all daddies at? Nobody loved y'all. Like, nobody helped to... Nobody, like, taught y'all what it means to be loved or when a dude love you or like you, how he treats you. Why is his baby mama there and her kid's not there? If it's... This is the time when blended families come together. He blended the family with the baby mama. He didn't have her there with her kids. Shorty's in Miami. She got to stay all the way across the Atlantic Pacific Ocean, you know, um, with her kids. Because he not going to have that on, that, on, that, on, that, on this day. Is you serious? No. That's why you don't let a dude tell you twice he don't want you. If the first time you ask a man, first of all, if a man tell you what we, what if if you have to ask a man what are we, you're you you should never even be asking that because I'm pretty sure Kim Porter didn't ask that. He already he bagged her up. You never should have to ask a man what are we. If you have to ask that, the, the you already got your answer. 
nothing because he would have made you somebody if he, you know, took you serious. If you ask him and um, basically he says, I'm single, we're dating, we go on dates, we're friends. Boom, that right there, once you hear the friend, he's friend zoned you. That's your cue. To have, you know, to, to to just run up your dudes in your phone and don't rely on him. Just go ahead and like, you know, live your life and exit. You know what I'm saying? If you want to have fun with him, have fun. But don't expect anything, any you know, anything more. But, you know, young Miami, like, she, she thought she was that girl. Like, she really felt like her ego was big. She thought that, oh, I'm young Miami. I can do whatever. I can bag him. And it's like only for him to sun her. He little girl to so bad. It's embarrassing. That's why you have to be humble. Like, don't ever think you can't get rejected. Don't ever think you're too pretty to get rejected because little baby rejected Saweetie. Saweetie, you know, she's a very beautiful girl. Saweetie's very confident. And she thought she had little baby in the bag. And only for little baby to be like, you a cloud chaser when she posted that pic. And then he went and took Jada on vacation basically embarrassed and took Jada on, didn't want to be seen with her on, in, in the pic with Sweetie, took Jada on vacation, went to Paris with Jada. And then the next month after that, he bought Jada a Royce Royce for, um, Christmas. He completely showed the world who he chose and who he wanted to be with. You know what I'm saying? To the point, even like Jada was on live with old girl with with a rapper, a certain rapper, and the rapper was like, "Why do these girls think that they can like play with you, Jada? Like, why do why do these girls don't stay in a place? Like, literally, Saweetie really thought like she had it in the bag. So some girls are very cocky, and then it's like the man humbles them. Like, baby, basically let her know, okay, you're a sweetie, and what would that mean? I, Jada's who he J, that's who he preferred and that's who he was willing to do tiktoks with go on vacation with and be seen which baby don't have a problem be, being seen with jada but he was hiding the pic with saweetie and when saweetie basically posted that pic he called her a, he called her a b and he said she a cloud chaser and the same thing with Carisha. Her ego was very big. You know, she thought she was better than gina. She thought she was better than everybody. She thought that she was basically superior. And here you are in Miami on Christmas, that's supposed to be the dude that you go together real bad with. That's who you basically post pictures of all day. Oh my God, you know, portraying like you the main girl, like you his woman. You saying you're not his side. You saying for, you know, these girls to play with his other hoes, like as if you're not one of his hoes. And it's like, here we are Christmas day and who he blending families with his baby mother. He considered the mother of his child family. If you the girlfriend, if you meant anything to him, you will be there with your kids. He would make sure that he fly everybody out and y'all be on the yacht together. You know what I'm saying? That's what, you know, couples do. But the thing is, is that Miami just could not accept rejection. She could not take her L and she made herself look dumber and dumber and like I am humble like I would have took my L and I would have just you know moved on but she just could not let her her ego was too big and then finally he did the ultimate had a baby that baby was born let me see how big the baby is because the baby October November December that's two months let me think. What is a two months? Where Cassie at? With her own kids and her husband? What do you mean? People be so messy. Okay. The baby. Mm. Let me see. What's today? The 25th? When did he announce it? Um, The, the 10th? Mm. Okay, based on the based on the size of the baby, I would say let me think, let me think. Yeah. 
I would say that she would, I think that, I think it was October because an infant, like if it was December the 10th, because I'm like, where's the receipts? Where's the birth certificate? He announced it the 10th. So maybe he was waiting for the DNA or something, but, um, based on the size of the baby, an infant, like is a little bitty, bitty, bitty thing. And this one is, she got a little bit of height to her, a little weight, you know, she basically like is, you know, able to like, she's not you know, up herself, but a baby's, you can't even put a baby like that. You got to basically literally hold the baby. Like the baby is so fragile and, you know, so the fact that she can hold herself up like that, she got some mobility. So the baby is two months old. I think the baby was born in October, um, based on the size, but I would have, I thought it was December cause that's when he announced it. And I didn't, I was looking for the birth certificate. I'm like, I'm not going to sit up here and believe that baby was born in October when, when he, um, what you call it when I don't have no receipts or whatever people are saying, but you know, I don't, they say the birth certificate. I'm like, well, post it then. But based on how the baby looked like the, the size, I definitely think the baby, um, was born in October for sure. So if the baby was born in October, which um I based on the size me looking, so Kare October, wait a minute. So October the baby was born. Diddy's birthday was in November. She gave him that chain. October That man did not tell Carisha that baby was was that girl was pregnant or that he was having a baby on the way. He did not tell her at all. She found out when we found out, literally, because October the baby was born. The next month was the was um was the birthday. You think Carisha would have big would have gave him that big ass bust down chain if she knew that a baby was born? You think she would have played herself like that? No, mm mm. She wouldn't have done that. She had no idea, and then. December, when we found out, when he announced it, that's when she found out. And Didi don't respect Carisha. So definitely she did not know. She was very, very taken off guard with us. She found out with us. And when G Herbo asked, when did he asked that for a reason? He said, did you know when Diddy announced like the baby? Did you already, did, did, did you know that he was having a baby? And she, the way she looked, she looked so, she looked so stuck and her facial expression let me know like, girl, no, you didn't know. And then she lied and said, yes, communication is key. Girl, he didn't, com he didn't communicate nothing, honey. You found out the day we found out, okay? You found out the day we found out. Because if she been new, how vocal she is and how she was popping off at everybody, she would have said, she would have been said, um, old news, been new, communicated already, I already know, please. She never said on, ne argue with the whole world, argue with academics, argue with everybody. Never once said I been new. She would have been said she knew. She didn't know. She found out when we found out. That baby really hurt her feelings. And that's why she finally is falling back and is talking about how she's messing with her baby daddy again. Because it's like, you have no choice to. You see this man really don't take you seriously. So you might as well double back to your baby daddy. That's the only one who really wants want you anyway that's the only one that will um take you semi-serious he's the only one that did you should have never left you should have stayed with your baby daddy but you were greedy you wanted the billionaire and you got played real bad carisha got played worth see the all out of all the girls she was like i told y'all the most bottom one because the girls I'll put it like this. She was the one that embarrassed herself and she was the most delusional one. And she was the one that did not know her place. And Diddy had to put her in place. Like Diddy put her in her place. Like a dude, when you're doing too much, a man will tell you with his actions, stay in your place. The fact that he didn't tell her about that baby, baby came, stay in your, stay in the whole place. The fact that the family, he he boldly, like, if he cared about her for real, for real, he would never just have his baby mama just there. And he know that she over there and she got kids and he didn't invite her. You think he care if he's okay with posting these family pictures? You think he gives a damn? No. He's telling her, stay in the host place. 
See, you have to understand. You have to catch it. Don't let a man tell you twice what you are. But if the man say when you a friend, accept that and keep it moving. What man you know for to have a baby, not tell you about it. You find out with the world. Then you go. You go. And December the 25th, Christmas, he got all his kids there. You po- you playing his main girl. You playing his main thing. You 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 yelling and hooting and hollering, saying you not the side. But his baby mama at the Christmas um gathering, you know, as a family. And you don't have on um Santa's, uh, uh, you not one of the elves. You not the, um, you don't got the, what you call them things on their head. You ain't got a onesie on with Summer and Jai. They not there. Why they not next to the baby? See, it should be the twins, Chance, the boys, Summer, and Jai. And you you should be there in Sarah's place, but you're not. So it's like the fact that he can boldly post this, that lets you know the man is telling you stay in the host place. You know? I've been with saying that if she had listened to me, if if y'all have if y'all loved yourselves and y'all if y'all had daddies in y'all lives, and if y'all had any sense, y'all would have been forwarded the truth to her and would have told her bitch snap out of it you're embarrassing yourself okay if any of her friends love to only only jt tapped her at the um the the uh, lifetime achievement award the bet when she was like go poppy making a fool of herself only jt like tapped her and was like girl sit down because jt was embarrassed other than that nobody around you like nobody around her none of her fans they wanted to be delusional with her now all y'all look dumb look at you looking stupid what man you know care about a woman and he don't fly her kids out and fly her out and put her in a onesie why can't carisha be in a onesie oh because she's shorty wop not the not the girlfriend not even the side chick she's the friend friend zone imagine that Imagine you bragging about being with a billionaire and, you know, saying y'all go together and playing delusional only for him to friend zone you and show you every which way he can that you really are just a friend. Like he has no respect or no regard. That's crazy to me. His baby mama is there. Child. The shade fest. Diddy don't give a hot damn. Okay. Let's go see what shorty wop got going on. Over there crying like a dog. I know she's crying under the pillows. After distributing all the gifts. Just crying away. Just crying away. Girl, I hope you deleted those photos. I just pray she deleted those photos. I hope she don't look... I, I just pray. Because I I would hate for her to have those photos up and all of this is going on. Like, girl, I hope you just... I hope you just... Wait a minute. Okay, so she deleted the photos. Okay, now you get it. I'm happy. Look. Oh my God. Look, them hoes ain't me. Pick me. When was this? January the 22nd? Isn't, wasn't it, um... What we in December? See, that's what I'm talking about. Ego. Ego. She could not accept. She thought she was better. She could not. She let like, you know what I'm saying? Your ego. When your ego gets in the way, you get embarrassed. She thought that she was better than them. And now they're all laughing at her. Them hoes ain't me. Girl, you one of the hoes. And the bottom one, the 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 le- the, the least one at that. Them, oh my God, I can't even imagine. Them girls are properly, they are still kicking to this day. I cannot, I cannot. Doing the most, just embarrassing. Just embarrassing, just really embarrassing. Well, you know, the attention seeking. The attention seeking girl. And you really think Diddy's for the wife this? Who you know? Like. Why? You think Diddy would. Do you think Diddy would let his woman wear that? This is. Okay. So this is what happens. When you basically lose. And 
the dude don't want you. So now you desperate and now you're trying to like prove a point and try to make them like want you, whoever it is, maybe it's, it's her baby daddy or um, Diddy. Like this is what happens when you f- fuck around and find out that you mean nothing to a nigga. And now you resort to showing your ass on Instagram because you don't know what to do because you've been rejected. So now you got to like figure out a way to get attention. Then so you, you, you show your bare ass on social media seeking attention. And it's like, shorty, if you were smart and you really wanted him, you definitely don't have him now because did he, he don't like girls like this. He would never like pick you because and, and all the other girls that he messed with, they don't do this. None of them. None of them do this. So like, Girl, love yourself. I'm telling you, real bad. Need a father real bad. Need a father real bad. We being messy, y'all. Well, Young Miami has finally understood. And, you know, she finally she know her place. You was the hoe. Academics was correct. No, academics was wrong. You wasn't the side. You was the hoe. You was the friend. No, not even the hoe, bitch. Academics was wrong. You were the friend. Bitch, Academics got a video that he made about this shit. Hold on. He got a video that he made about... Girl, Academics is petty. I'm going to be messy tonight. We're being messy. We're being messy tonight, okay? Shorty Wap has deleted her photos of her and Diddy. Um, She went ahead and fell back on Southside um, because Diddy rejected her. So she finally got it through her head. She not delusional no more, no more, y'all. She finally got it through her head that Diddy don't want her. And now she fell back on her baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? So, and then she started, you know, posting ass pics because she didn't know what to do about the rejection. So she wanted to like, you know, you know, get some attention. Bye y'all. I'm going to go to DJ Academics.